The Dark Trooper Attack Lego set was released in 2022. Is it still worth buying a year later? Let's find out. As previously mentioned, the Dark Trooper Attack Lego set was released in March 2022, contains 166 pieces and retails for around the £30 mark. Though saying that, I managed to score this example for £22. This set depicts the scene from the season 2 finale of The Mandalorian, where Luke Skywalker absolutely annihilates the Dark Trooper squad created by Moff Gideon to assist with kidnapping Grogu for his cloning experiments. Looking at the box art, on the front we see a nice overview of the set and what it looks like when built, with Mando and Grogu in the bottom left corner. On the back we see highlighted the play features of this set including a turnstile for Luke's dramatic entrance and a few other features for the positioning of the Dark Troopers in the fight. Opening up the box we find two bags full of parts, instructions for both bags and 15 stickers in total. Building this set was quite easy, for some reason when I looked at the set I thought it would be more complicated than it actually was due to the play features implemented, however there were no pain points in this build and everything went together really easily. There were a few times it got mixed up with what colour part to use but I think that's just my silly brain. And here's the set all assembled and now we can dive in and have a look at those play features in action. As mentioned, there's a turnstile type thing for Luke Skywalker at the left side of the set. The mechanism for this feels quite robust with a little bit of resistance. To the right where the Dark Troopers are located nearer towards the front of the set is a turntable for one of the Dark Troopers to turn around. And moving further to the right is a slider to move one of the other Dark Trooper figures towards Luke. In this particular set you do get 4 minifigures in total, them being 3 Dark Troopers and Luke Skywalker. The Dark Trooper minifigure looks pretty good with nice printing on the front and back with what I want to call shoulder pads to complement the overall design. The helmet features a nice mould with quite a bit of detail, underneath the helmet we see a nice print with the red helping giving these Dark Troopers a fierce look. Whilst you're here, if you're interested in more LEGO videos like this as well as other build videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I release a new video. Now back to the review. The Luke Skywalker figure features a similar look to what we saw in The Return of the Jedi but slightly different as this is based on the season 2 finale of The Mandalorian. The minifigure features a cape, hood and two facial expressions which you can choose between. The print on the front and back looks pretty accurate and nicely detailed. Overall I have no complaints about the minifigures in this set as I feel it does the characters justice. So what do I think overall? Overall I think this set is a nice little set ideal for its intended target age which is 8 years and over. Not overly complicated but a nice representation of an awesome scene from an awesome series. If you're wanting to amass an army of Dark Troopers, this is probably the set you probably want to go for. I've seen people buy a few of these sets to expand the scene overall, which looks really good. But that is my opinion on this set. And that was my review of the Dark Trooper Attack LEGO set. Do you own it? What do you think of this LEGO set? Let me know in the comments section below. I will be answering the comments for a few hours after this video goes live. If you like this video, leave it a like. For any more LEGO videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel and we've got loads more content coming. See you guys in the next one.